Saturday, my Scorpios. Um, I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vines, and I'm going to be doing love reads for the month of February. Um, I was going to do generals and just stick to what I was doing, but it is the time of love, so why not? Um, I also meditated and came up with like a a new spread. It's I'm calling it mirroring because I keep thinking about that. So I really feel like a lot of people, <clears throat> excuse me, um, are mirroring each other, whether you guys are already partnered up or it's an ex or whoever's on your mind. It could be someone that you haven't even met yet. Um, your divine partner, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are going through something at this time. I'm just saying because when I was shuffling and it still hasn't gone away and it's almost making me really shaky. Um, I'm like out of breath and I feel panicky over a decision. Like you very well could be dealing with someone from your past and they're afraid to come forward because of what you might say or do or rejection. I don't know, but whatever it is, someone is like really worked up about something. So let's see what's going on. And if that's you that's worked up about it, I really hope that you can find a sense of peace because the way I feel right now, I almost don't even want to continue doing the reading. <laughs> like, I feel really worked up. Let's see what is going to bring you two together. The Four of Cups. That's a mutual energy. I think this goes back to what I just said. It's it's a fear of rejection. Like somebody has moved on and almost like, I feel like I'm not good enough. Like, I don't have enough to offer you. Like, that's, it's a fear of rejection. That somebody is going to walk away from the situation for good. Okay. I'm going to read it as if this is Scorpio side. And this is whoever you're thinking about dealing with or who's coming into the picture. But with the energies that are coming up, I'm definitely going to say it's somebody you know. Um, somebody that's crossed your path in some way, shape, or form that has probably hurt you at one point. <clears throat> oh my goodness. So, let's see. What does Scorpio want to happen or have happened in this situation between this person? What do they want? There you are, Scorpio, with the death card. You either want the situation to end, or you want to end a situation that you're currently in to go back to somebody else, but you're fearful um, of the repercussions. Like, what if I make the wrong choice? Um, or you're just hoping that with however much time has passed, the situation can transform. We have the moon. So there's things you just, you don't know. I feel like I'm torn right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to get more clarification on that a little bit, but um, let's see what you need to do to make this happen. Oh, we have a star. That's positive. That's wish fulfillment. That's healing. That's balancing your emotions, which honestly, I think really needs to happen. Like, you know, have faith, trust that things will work out, that um, no matter what happens, it's, what, why can't I, I say this all the time, I can't even think of what the words are, um, what is meant to be will be, basically, like, if you go into it with that mentality, 
A, it will relieve a lot of anxiety on your side or or their side or both sides. I feel like you're mirroring each other. Um, but just know that there's a bigger plan out there. And even if you don't get back together with the person that you always have on your mind or what have you, it doesn't say you'll never come back together. Uh, well, it doesn't say you won't at all yet anyways, but, um, you know, you might need more time. Maybe, all right, I'm not going to dive too much. I know somebody's waiting on something. Like, they put a lot of, a lot of thought into this. I don't want to say a lot of energy and a lot of thought. I don't see much action, even though wands are, like, action-oriented. Maybe somebody you are um, lining things up in your own life so that you can welcome this present this person in or that's what they're doing because if you're not resonating with this side yet you might be over here it energies flip flop but let's see what they want out of this relationship the person that Scorpio is thinking about. Person Scorpio is thinking about. What? We got two. All right. Oh, bottom of the deck, three of cups. This could be reconciliation, coming together with friends. Um, it can also be third party, and uh, we have the Empress. She. She can represent a new beginning. She can also represent the other woman. I might need a little bit more information, but we also, she came out with the shadow side or the devil. So I don't know if that's, I think the person on this side is fearful of a new beginning. Like they were hurt. Either, either you, Scorpio, hurt this person, or you were hurt by them, or you're dealing with another Scorpio, um, or Capricorn. There's a lot of fear. It's like you guys are both scared. You're both, <laughs> you're mirroring each other. Yeah, somebody wants to move away from a third party situation. So one of you or both of you are in a relationship at this time and you want it to end so that you can get what you want. You can have a new beginning, but I feel like you guys need to overcome your fears and you know, someone needs to take a leap of faith. Otherwise, if there's no communication, no common ground that it's not going to work um let's see so what does this person need to do to make this relationship come together or to have it come together whatever Communication. Okay. So, yep, somebody is stressed the fuck out. I'm just going to say they are burdened by whatever's going on in their current situation, relationship, whatever. Um, whatever's going on in their life, they have a lot on their plate and they're scared. They're scared of a new beginning. Like these two cards, the Empress and the Ace of Swords can represent a new beginning. Um, this is truth. This is clarity. Um, so it could be read that this person over here is either afraid of hearing the truth 
or they're afraid of speaking their truth. Like, maybe they stepped out, left you, whatever, um, and now they want to come back, you know, with their tail between their legs because they know that they messed up, but they're afraid that if you know why they left or what they were doing while you guys weren't like in union or talking to each other, whatever, that you're just going to say, you know, screw you. I don't want any part of this. Um, yep. Yeah, somebody's taking a break. They're thinking, they're healing. You both are. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to call it mirroring. I'm telling you. It just, I don't know, it's crazy when that stuff, like, comes together. Um, and then let's see what the obstacle is for Scorpio side. So what's stopping Scorpio from, you know, making a move, coming back together? Or, like, what's, the, what's in their way? What's in Scorpio's way? Six of Pentacles. That's equal give and take, reciprocity, um, money, balance, happiness. Um, I just get the sense of saving money. Like maybe they don't have, or you, so as I said, Scorpio. Or unless you're dealing with a Scorpio or someone who has heavy Scorpio in their chart. Um, they could be feeling a lack right now. Like they don't have enough. Like I want one more on that. What is the Six of Pentacles about for Scorpio's obstacle? What's getting in the way? I just feel like they don't have... They feel like they don't have enough to give. Like they, they're not going to be able to bring enough to the table. And you might reject them because either they don't have a job or um, they're relying on support from somebody else and they can't seem to get, well, it's definitely a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like I said, I think you're dealing with Scorpio. Another one. Um, yeah, they're trying to get things together. This can be wish fulfillment. It can also be overindulging, like drinking too much. Um, I feel like Scorpio is trying to save their pennies, basically, like trying to make it worth your while um, before they come into union. But somebody wants to come in and say something. This is an enduring... I don't think I said that word right. <laughs> Endearment? Endearing? Anyways, this is a message of, like, love, but more on a friendship level, like, slowly getting there. Could be an apology. Um, it's a start. And somebody wants to come forward. Might be a fire sign could have fire in their chart aries leo sag um i feel like the person over here also is not expressing their feelings maybe they want to they just don't know how hmm. all right so what is the obstacle for person scorpio is dealing with what is in their way what are they working on Whoa. Okay. <sighs> Their obstacle is the Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this person... is trying to release release past burdens like 
all the baggage that they have from either either this past relationship with this person or you or whatever um so that they can come into union because that's what the obstacle is what do they need to overcome for you two to come together so I feel like this I don't know I get this sneaky the seven of swords is at the bottom of the deck and that's the lying cheating stealing card so I kind of get the sense that this person is afraid of a new beginning because they already know that there was a third party. They already know what happened while you guys were apart. Well, for the most part, anyways. Um, and they want to move away from stress, anxiety, bullshit. They want to love and be loved. They want to move to a calm, peaceful place. And they don't want this energy anymore. They don't want that in their in their world, in their environment. Um, and I feel like they've been working really hard to overcome these past fears, these past anxieties, like I said, um, issues. And some of this stuff might not have even been, you know, caused by you or whatever, vice versa, the other person. It could have been caused from you know, previous relationships and you just kind of carry that stuff with you and then it, you know, messes everything up down the line because you can't let shit go. So I feel like this person either needs to let that stuff go or they're trying to or they're or they have, but they're scared that if you come back, this is what's going to happen. They're just going to, you know, repeat the same cycle over and over and over. We don't want that. Let's see what the possible outcome of this situation would be if both these people can overcome their obstacles. What is the outcome for Scorpio and whoever is on their mind? Well, we have the four of pentacles that's holding back holding on not letting go of something um it's also saving your money he's kind of like the miser card like i'm not giving you shit i feel like it's you're holding on to the relationship it's like you don't want to give up You're just waiting for, you're waiting for this person to contact you or come in or say something. It's like, it's like he's sitting here with a look on his face like, you know, all grumpy on the porch with all his money. It's almost like he has everything he needs and he's holding on to it for dear life, but he's still missing something, you know, like. I don't normally say that with this card either, but I'm a homer. What is this four of pentacles about? Somebody could be holding back out of fear that somebody is going to chew them a new asshole for what they did. Yeah, conflict. Inner and outer. It's almost like somebody is preparing for battle. Because they know if... I don't want to say they know. They think that if they come forward, you and even outside people are going to be like freaking out about the situation and maybe... You know, bringing in all this conflict and negativity and, like, I guess, for example, I could say, say your your mother or your father d didn't want you to 
didn't like the fact that you were with this person. And now you know, like, I'm drawn to them. I want to go back to them. I love them, whatever. Um, but you're afraid that if you do that, your parents are going to flip out, not support you, um, or your friends aren't going to support you. Whoever's external to you is going to give you some kind of, they're going to come at you and you're going to feel attacked and you don't want to. So you're just kind of holding on to this. Like, I don't want to let this relationship go. Even if we haven't talked for God knows how long, I can't let you go. But I also am so afraid of people coming at me. Like, I don't want to deal with the conflict. Yeah, that's feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back. Somebody could have also come to a realization that they not only made the wrong choice, but they did it for, they didn't even do it for their own reasons. I don't know what that, I don't know why I said that, but what is this conflict? Yeah. Well, the Five of Swords is being clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So, this person wants to come in with a, with a love offer. Like, before I saw the page, now I'm seeing the Knight. So, that's growth. There's two Knights. It could be either... They're afraid that you are with somebody else and they took too long for this. So they don't want to open up because they don't have that information. Or, like I said before, with the external crap, um, the influences could be that. But it could be the same person as well, like taking forever to make this offer because they are afraid. They think that you are going to reject them because of all the crap they put you through. But I feel like you're fearful of trying again because of all the crap they put you through, like, or who, whichever side you're on. But, I mean, we have two aces here. We have the star card. Lots of majors. One, two, three. Ugh. I feel like, yeah, if someone just gets the strength and courage to take the first step, take it slow, slow moving, I feel like that's what's going to help this situation. Um, yeah, there's a commitment on the board here, especially if you can get through all this crap. Okay, so let's see. What do romance angels have for you guys? What does Scorpio need to know? Or Scorpios who are waiting on their person to come back or communicate with them. What do they need to know? What is the most important information for them? Advice. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, I feel like someone could be coming back in for that. Some of you. Or that's what you want. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like you guys are attracted to each other, obviously. <laughs> um, I don't know how long you've been separated from this person, but I do feel that magnetic pull. It's almost like a push and pull. When you're, when you're upset and you're scared, they are upset and they're scared. When you're happy and you know, not thinking about the connection and just kind of, you know, doing your thing. That's what they're doing. It, it's crazy. But I feel like this is not only saying you're attracted to each other. You need to look at the big picture and appreciate the things that you have in your life, the people you have in your life. Um, yeah. Oh, one more. One more advice card, please. Let's pop you. I feel like it's coming in. Like, 
it's going to be sudden and yeah it's going to come in suddenly and kind of slowly like flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others so i feel like it's not going to you know this person isn't going to rush in and go i want to get engaged i want to marry you and you know head over heels like that stuff i don't feel like it's going to be this big cup of love initially even though they feel that way i feel like they're going to test the waters and kind of come in with a more playful energy which i feel is the best way to do this because if you guys haven't been together for a while, people change, we grow, we transform, you know, we might not even be the same people anymore. So it's important to take that time to get to know each other again, to, to come together in the right way, if that's what you want. If you don't, you know, take your new beginning elsewhere, you, you know, and tell them that. Don't lie to yourself and don't lie to them. Be open, honest, and truthful. Um, and I feel like when the both of you are ready to communicate this to each other or receive the information, that is when it's going to happen. Um, there might be a little bit more work for one or both of you to do before it can happen. Um, cause there is a lot of anxiety and fear here. And I, I think it's just cause there's so much love this person or both of you are terrified of losing each other for good it's almost like you're not in my life right now we're not talking or anything but I have there's still hope you might come back you might things might turn out good in the future but if you <laughs> jump the gun too much or too fast you're afraid that you're just going to be like "Uh oh I blew it and now there is no hope. It's gone. This person's out of my life forever. So I think that's where the fear is coming from. But then at the bottom of the deck, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I feel like you two are going to be coming together soon. And you just need to take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race. I mean, if you guys have been apart for, like, years or even months, and even if it was painful, I, what's a little bit longer going to do, like, taking that time to really get to know the other person inside and out, like, um, and to get to know yourself, too, and who you are when you're with that person and who you are when you're not with that person, because sometimes we get so wrapped up in love and all this that we forget who we are and we take on the mannerisms and the desires of the other person and then we we lose ourselves in it and then it just falls to crap because that's not the way it's supposed to be. You are two individuals coming together. Whether you're like-minded or not, you need to keep that separate, your your own identity. You need to keep your own identity. I feel like maybe that like some codependency stuff was going on here before because there was such a high level attraction, chemistry, what have you, like maybe the feelings were just so overwhelming that you just dove in head first and it just went woof and went away. Um, and the universe was like, uh, no, we can't do it this way. So, <laughs> so they, you know, did what they did, like brought the tower moment in maybe more than once. Um, but yeah. So this is exciting. Um, ah, and true love. <laughs> so somebody is coming for you, Scorp, or you are going to them, or you're dealing with a Scorpio. This one was great, and it was my first reading for February, and I'm going to keep blowing these petals everywhere with every breath I take. <laughs> Anyways. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this resonates with you. Um, I love, 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 love to read your comments. Um, thank you to anyone who has hit me up for a personal reading. And if you would like one and haven't had one yet, um, just send me an email. My email is in the uh, description box below. And I will send you a list of pricing and all that happy stuff. 
I'm wishing you guys well and happy February.